my name is Daniel Watt and I'm here from Yamaha with the Tyros Tips just today and we're just going to talk a little bit about Ensemble um, which is this button here on the uh, Tyros 5 it's only available so far on the Tyros 5 and what that actually does is it takes over all four parts of the keyboard so the left, the right one, the right two and the right three are all put onto the right hand and why do we do this? Because if you're playing with a quartet, you want four instruments, and you want those four instruments to play specific sounds or specific notes. So let's just put a li literally a nice, cool audio jazz club style on the keyboard. As you can see, we've just got one here, standard style. And all I've done is I've pressed the ensemble button, and I've chosen the woodwind, which is button number eight. And you can see we've now got four saxophone sections, or four saxophone instruments. Now what we're going to be doing with Ensemble, if you've got four instruments and they're all playing a block chord, well one instrument can't play four notes. So as I play my chord, the first instrument plays this note, the second instrument plays this note, the third instrument plays my third note, and the fourth instrument plays my fourth note. And if I just press the edit button on the screen, we can actually see that work on the screen. You don't need this up when you're normally playing, but we just have this screen here so that you can actually see exactly what we're talking about. So my first note, if I play one note, all four instruments will play that one note. As you can hear, all four instruments are playing that same note. If I play two notes, you can see how it's now been split. So this one and this one, which is right one and right three are now playing this note left and right two are playing this note play three notes splits again four notes left right one right two right three and that's what ensemble does now don't worry if you can't play block chords with your right hand because not everybody can if you press the harmony button on the keyboard just as you would to add the chord from your left hand to your right hand with any other sound, the keyboard will do this all for you. And if I just play quickly a little bit of uh, music for you, you'll see on the screen exactly how it all works. So there you can see how it's all been broken up and split up for you in exactly the same way that a quartet would do. Now many people, when they press the ensemble button, as you know, we have the eight buttons across the bottom of the screen. We've got three brass, we've got two strings, and we've got three woodwind. A lot of people think that there are just those eight presets within ensemble. Unfortunately, that's not right. It's actually over 50. And how we get to those is, on the screen we have a button that's called preset. If I push the J button, which is against preset, you can see here that we have many more than just those eight. We've got two pages just for the woodwind. So you can see woodwind and we can do different sections as we stay same song. <laughs> didn't want to use um, a brass sound, maybe I want to use a string sound. Have we got string registrations within here? Yes we have. If I press the up button, you can see here we've got different categories of ensemble. So we can go into string and we can go for classic strings. Okay, because we've got a string section now, we're not going to want to have that jazz rhythm that we just had a few seconds ago. So I want to use maybe free play style. So let me go into the movie and show. I'm just going to choose Ethereal Movie, which is a great free play style, and it just gives me the ability to just have that in my left hand. Okay, so now I've got my string section in ensemble mode. 
Let me pop it into edit mode so we can see exactly what's happening. So you can see there how the strings work. Maybe I want to use a choir voice instead. If I press the preset button, then go up, I can go into choir. So let's have a listen to open choral. Again, put the harmony on, and press the edit button so we can actually see what's happening. hear how the ensemble can be used not just for these big band sounds but it can also be used for choirs it can be used for string sounds and we've even got some fun stuff if we go into the presets and then go up again we've got a category called others well what's under others we've got some fun stuff we've got for instance Alpen and if we go for Alpen we've now got some some Bavarian polka so let's pop on a Bavarian polka sound from the world category. This one here. shows you some of the things you can do with Ensemble. You can actually make your own registrations up as well if you want to make your own presets up for Ensemble, you can do. But there's lots and lots of them there for you to try to start with. So just have a little play around, go through the presets, see what works for you. I hope that's been useful for you.